going on, everybody? Welcome inside fitnessinformer.com, Fitness Informer's YouTube channel. I'm FI President Ryan Buck. I want to thank you for stopping by to check out 100% Honest No Bullshit Review of Muscle Tech Nitro Tech Casein Gold Protein Powder. Those of you who have been following Fitness Informer since day one or maybe hopped on the FI train as of late know that we don't necessarily spend a ton of time reviewing big, big companies like Muscle Tech, but one thing about FI is that we approach every new supplement review with an unbiased, open mind to figure out exactly what are these companies coming out with and are they maybe changing some of their ways? Because in reality, when you're a big company like Muscle Tech, sometimes you're going to take shortcuts, you're going to cut corners to help increase margins and maybe, and maybe release a product that's not so great, but you also have investors to uh, answer to. So. We had to approach Muscle Tech's Nitro Tech casing goal with an unbiased open mind is with exactly what I did. I appreciate them working with us. So here is our full review of Nitro Tech casing goal for Muscle Tech on five different categories, starting with the ingredient profile, which we'll talk about right now. 24 grams of protein. This is a casein protein. Casein protein powder is a slow digesting protein powder in which is meant to be consumed in two spots in your day, in my opinion. One is before bed. You want to consume it before bed. So that way during your seven to eight hour sleep sessions, you're not going hungry the entire time. That's a long stretch of time to go without feeding your body. So a casein protein, which is released slowly into the system and digested slowly, will feed you throughout your sleep. The second time in which I think you should consume a casein protein powder is actually post-workout with a whey protein powder because your body can only utilize so much protein at once. By utilizing the 25 grams of whey protein, then coming in with say 24 grams of casein protein, you're not only giving yourself the quick absorbing protein which your body needs and deserves, post-workout, but then you're also feeding your body after that because you're not going to be able to consume 50 grams of protein powder, whey protein powder post-workout and expect your body to utilize it all. So by mixing it with a casein protein powder, it actually works out well. So 24 grams of protein. Now, it's important to know that the entire 24 grams of protein in Nitro Tech casein gold is not going to be casein protein. And why do I say that? There are three sources of casein protein powder utilized in this, in this product. It starts right away with milk protein isolate. Now, milk protein isolate breakdown is about 80% casein, 20% whey. So part of that 24 grams of protein powder is actually going to be whey protein because of the, because of the milk protein isolate. Then you're going to get calcium caseinate. Calcium caseinate is the casein protein that's been sort of altered to be more soluble in water. So you'll find this in stuff like coffee creamers in which it, that it's typically going to be stirred in with a liquid. It's not as high quality as micellar casein, which is going to be the third source of casein used in this. So micellar casein protein is my favorite source of casein protein, but it's used third on the list behind milk protein isolate and calcium caseinate. So 24 grams of protein, not all of it's going to be, uh, not all of it's going to be casein protein. If I had to say it's probably 18 to 20 grams of this is actually casein protein. And out of that 18 to 20 grams, you're probably getting two to six grams of it actually being micellar casein protein, which is the highest quality casein of this product. So you look at the other macros on this, zero grams of fat, cool carbs is only two grams of carbs, which is not bad. You look at other ingredients on this, it does have maltodextrin, it does have sucralose in it, natural and artificial flavors. Overall, kind of a standard of the road casein protein powder. It's nothing exceptionally crazy great. It's not terrible either, okay? So just because it's a huge company does not mean it's a garbage product. They have they have uh, 24 grams of protein, zero grams of fat, two grams of carb. What I would like Muscle Tech to do is disclose uh, their protein blend. How much of it is milk protein isolate? How much of it is calcium casein? And how much of it is micellar casein? So that way we know as a consumer kind of the quality of this product. Um, so overall, it's an okay, uh, over, uh, it's an okay casein protein powder or protein powder in general. In terms of effectiveness, the effectiveness is going to be a direct extension of the profile on this product. So the profile is sort of okay. The effectiveness also is going to be okay. The purpose of a casein protein powder is going to be feeding you while you're hungry or feeding you throughout the day. It's going to do that. Uh, again, you're going to have higher quality protein powder sources, even when it comes to whey protein powder, which can be anywhere from 34 to 80% whey protein by source, by volume, which is uh, a huge quality issue. Um, casein has the same thing. There's different qualities of casein protein powder. If this was all micellar casein, this would be a really good product because it's not, it's not going to be as good of a product as some of the other casein protein powders that we reviewed here at Fitness Informer before. Uh, in terms of taste, uh, disclosure, I'm not a fan of vanilla. This was creamy vanilla, uh, and I will say that out of all the vanillas that I've tried, this one actually, sorry Muscle Tech, ends up being one of the worst. I just was not a fan of the creamy vanilla. Um, just not a huge fan of vanilla. I've had a couple vanilla proteins, and they've been isolates that have been really good. 
But overall, I'm not very satisfied with vanilla as a flavor in general, but I know that if you like vanilla, you like vanilla and it is what it is. So in terms of mixability, I will say this, this is one of your better mixing casein proteins. Why? Because milk protein isolate is going to be your 80-20 mix, right? So you have 20% whey protein. Whey protein mixes better than casein. You have calcium caseinate, which actually mixes better than micellar casein and milk protein isolate. And then you have micellar casein as the last one. So this is when the three sources of casein come in to, um, to benefit the product. It's one of the better mixability. Casein powders on the market. So overall, profile is okay, effectiveness is okay, taste to me was not great, but mixability is fantastic. Value, this is available in a two pound and a five pound container. The five pound container retails for about 54, 55 bucks, which is right in line with the competition. If you look at some of the higher quality casein proteins out there, they retail from about 55 to 60 bucks. So this is actually a value is, eh, it's okay, right? I mean, if you can find it on sale and you're on a budget, the value becomes higher. Being available in a two pound, a five pound container is actually nice for people on a budget or people who don't want to commit to five pounds of one flavor because if I had committed to five pounds of this creamy vanilla, it would take me a long time to finish it. So the options are there. But overall, yes, there are better sources of casein proteins out there. I think that we know that walking into this. Um, overall, it's not a terrible, terrible casein protein powder. It's, it, it can be worth your money if you can find it on sale. Muscle Tech, Fortunately, for as large as they are, they do run a lot of sales in which you can get this product at a, at a discount and then it becomes more of a value to you. So overall, there are better casein powders out there, um, you know, but th this is a standard of the road, kind of your typical thing, and, and Muscle Tech's responsible for bringing a lot of people into the sports nutrition industry. So kudos to them. Uh, I'd like to see this brand keep going. I'd also like to see them become a little bit more innovative on their products and maybe some more cutting edge stuff. I get that they're a big company. They have margins to meet. They have to grow top line and bottom line for the company, but at the end of the day, it's still about the consumer and provide something for the consumer to make something special like once upon a time when they were one of the only companies out there. So Muscle Tech, back to those days would be fantastic. Uh, we obviously here at fitnessinformant.com appreciate your support. To purchase this product, head over to fitnessinformant.com, search Muscle Tech, find the product review, click on the product link. You can purchase this product from one of our preferred retailers in which we work with. Check below for a discount code to save you a few dollars on this product, which will make this product more valuable for you. Make sure you follow us on our social media channels. We're on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. Subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking on the red subscribe now box here below. That'll also get you access to our Be Informed Live Fit podcast featuring eight-time Mr. Olympia champion Ronnie Coleman, four-time Mr. Four-time World's Strongest Man Brian Shaw, two-time Arnold Classic champion Branch Warren, and so many more, including WWE superstars Ryback Reeves. And for this full written review, other muscle tech news and reviews, and other casein powder reviews, and huge, 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 huge supplement deals, check us out online. We're at fitnessinformant.com.